Hello and welcome back to The Fragrance Fanatic. Today I'm going to be looking at the best three David Beckham fragrances. Enjoy the video. So, welcome back. As always, these are the best three fragrances in my opinion. My opinion only, no one else's. I have taken these from my collection and I'm going to be doing brief reviews for you. I'm not going to waste any time, so I'm just going to get straight into the video. The first, or should I say, number three, um, is David Beckham Classic Blue. So, ranking them downwards from three, two to one. David Beckham Classic Blue uh, is number three. Comes in this nice box, but uh, over time it's ended up getting a little bit scuffed and it's got the nice kind of leather design though, it's sticking with that kind of a uh, principle. We've got the cross hatching <laughs> um, embedded in the glass bottle. Um, but yeah, classic blue is really, really, it is a great fragrance. It's from 2014. David Beckham released it in 2014. Um, I've always said this is a proper, fresh, um, citrusy summer fragrance. <laughs> um, it's, fr it's fresh, uh, so it, it doesn't really work with the kind of year, that, the time of year that we're in right now. But um, really great atomizer, really great atomizer. <laughs> um, and my, yeah, lovely, really, really lovely. From that, I immediately pick up grapefruit. In the top notes, there's pineapple there as well. Um, I seem to recall from reading the uh, the notes as well, that there's something called violet leaf in there, which I'd never ever heard of um, at all. Never heard of violet leaf being a note in a fragrance. Um, the mids turn into quite a floral, floral sort of vibe. You got some geranium in there, and you possibly have some rose. Um, don't take my word for that, but I think it's quite a floral mid. Yeah, you can you can just smell it coming through now. Really, you can smell the floral the floralness coming through, and it is quite nice though because in the summer you, you might be out and about, and you you know to to kind of mix and smell as if you're walking through the wild is, is great. Um, it's not at all earthy or um, dirty at all. It's just a really clean, fresh fragrance, which works in social situations as well. It doesn't have to be a fragrance that's just for going outside and playing sport. It really could work in a social situation with a suit on, um, on a hot day, really, really well. And your base notes are gonna start, you're gonna start getting some moss in there. Um, I think you're getting some cashmere, as in like bed linen, bed linen um, smells. And you've got the similar kind of base notes as to that of Davidoff Cool Water. Um, doesn't smell the same though, because I'm not a big fan of Davidoff Cool Water, whereas I am a big fan of this classic blue David Beckham fragrance. Number two, David Beckham Instinct. Now, first of all, the thing I love so much about this is you can get this fragrance for roughly £10, a bit more than that maybe, and it's got a magnetic cap. I mean, if that doesn't screen quality, what does? Um, David Beckham Instinct, how incredible. Um, first of all, really lovely simplistic cap, um, and then they even go all out and put their <laughs> logo on the top. Now the reason I'm going into depth this this kind of bottle and design is really because, would you believe it, you know, a, a, a fragrance that costs so little, is really, the, the, the company's going all out and making it look great. I'm gonna spray this on my left wrist. Oh, immediately a completely different scent to that um, of Classic Blue. Really, really different, and it's lovely. I mean, funny saying that, you do pick up uh, grapefruit straight away. You've got, you've got some sort of, um, some citrusy notes actually in the start. This is no way sweet, it's a sharp, sharp smell. Very sharp. But there's a woodiness to it as well that I'm wondering actually whether that's coming from cedar, possibly. Um, this one, I really, really struggle. I really struggle to pick out notes from. Um, 
I, I apologize, I know some people don't like it when you look at your notes and stuff because you want to see what you're automatically picking from. So I can tell you that it's a woody scent that I'm picking up and it's definitely citrusy at the top um, to, round, to kick it all off and to round off it does start to come a little bit more down to earth, earthy slightly um, and woody but I'm gonna have to check my notes for this to be sure. You've got the grapefruit mandarin um, bergamot at the top, it is pretty citrus heavy at the top um, and then as we're moving down to mid this is probably why I can't pick stuff out because we've got pimento, star anise and cardamom, three scents uh, accord that I really don't know much about and um, star anise is rare to find in uh, a cheaper fragrance like this as is pimento as it is cardamom and um, these are all quite high-end additions to scents and it, it shows this is such a smooth well-rounded fragrance it's one of the best cheap fragrances i would say on the market um, for a masculine man and um, a working man and uh, someone in a suit you don't have to be in a suit you can be outdoors as well it's just such a brilliant scent um and trust me this scent will give you the, the swagger it will, it will give you it will just give you confidence this scent will give you confidence to walk into a job interview it's just such a brilliant uplifting smell um, and that's what you need from a scent and that's what David Beckham has really perfected in this particular fragrance um, base notes vetiver patchouli and white amber um, again really really kind of rare accords but all I can say is that when coming together it creates something beautiful to the last fragrance. David Beckham Beyond. So, David Beckham Beyond. This is my favourite David Beckham fragrance at the moment. It's, I'd say it's a teenage fragrance. I'd say it's for the younger people. Um, this is a more teenage fragrance, I would say. Um, by that, I mean, I don't think it's the... Uh, older men shouldn't wear it. I think it's more that older men in general maybe wouldn't want to wear it. Um, and this isn't generalizing, I'm just saying that it's quite a sweet fragrance and it's it's actually, it's, it's not a masterpiece. It's just something that's mass appealing. And maybe that's, that's why this was a close tie with the instinct because instinct is something special. But this, I think, is just a really, really lovely smell. Um, as are many of the, the, the fragrances by David Beckham. But I'm just gonna jump straight into giving this a bit of a review um, just to give you an idea. So I'm gonna put it on my wrist of my right hand now. Again, you know, you got to remember these are cheaper fragrances. I should give it a wee second just to evaporate a little bit. Again, atomizers on all of these are brilliant. Initial notes, spicy, sweet, really hearty, lovely. Spicy, sweet, hearty smells. You've got sweet citruses. Again, I love citrus. Sweet citruses like bergamot coming in, um, possibly some mandarin, uh, some orange blossom maybe. You know, orange blossom is the perfect mix of sweet, really lovely sweet, and then citrus. So you got that, I think. I was right, you're kicking off with bergamot grapefruit. Um, there's some cardamom in the top as well to give you that spiciness um, and then there's the black pepper in the mid. I was right, you're kicking off with bergamot grapefruit and um, there's some cardamom in the top as well to give you that spiciness um, and then there's the black pepper in the mid. So yeah, there's some cedar in there as well, um, which I love cedar. I think cedar and sandalwood are two just brilliant, brilliant scents. I really like the woody accords um, that come into these scents. And then you've got leather in the bottom alongside vanilla, which adds to the sweetness. You can really, um, you can really pick up the leather now coming through, and it's, it's, it's an acquired scent. Whilst it's in many other things, it's really acquired, but it is in a lot of things, and I think that's that's why beyond whilst being mass appealing, does have some sort of unique texture to it. In a sense, and, and when I say texture, I mean, it's almost like it's got different layers to it. And when I talk, I talk about scents as being either very layered or very smooth. Both can be good, both can be bad. This is a very good 
layered scent in the sense that it comes in different comes in different hits. Um, you've got your sweet and spiciness at the top, you've got some woody in the bottom and then in the mid and then in the bottom you've got that leathery. And I really, really like that. And it's perfect for any situation. Again, as a youthful teenager, I can see in it in any situation. As an older man, maybe in more casual situations, I don't think this is an office scent. It could work in an office situation. I don't think this is a very um, formal scent though. I think this works in many situations, but possibly not the formal as much. Again, quite cheap, in the very cheap in fact. In the description below, along with all the other scents. And thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, a little bit different uh, to usual, but yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to check out the podcast um, on Spotify, all other podcast providers, um, and it's also on YouTube, the first episode. So enjoy. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time on the Fragrance Fanatic.